guys, my name is Nadia DeRose. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. So we're going to get right into what this video is about, which is my initial experience with the curl box. So for those who don't know, the curl box is a natural hair subscription company that does full size products. So this is the second subscription company that I've ever used. The first one was Ipsy. So I don't subscribe to Ipsy anymore, but if you do want a video about Ipsy, then let me know and I will make one. I've actually been thinking about going back. I stopped just because at one point I had more product than I was actually using, so I just cut it off and then I never started it back. Then I used all the products they sent me, so I might start it back up. So if you want a review on Ipsy or at least my experience with it, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to film one of those. So, going back to what this video is about is Curlbox. So, I am not a huge shopper. I hate going into stores. I hate shopping. It takes all day. I hate any kind of shopping. Clothes shopping, furniture shopping, hair products. I hate it all. So, I'm always looking for something that will come to me and something that I don't have to pick out myself. So, I googled subscriptions because I just got sick of going in the store, finding something, trying it. I was like, I don't want to go in the store anymore. I don't want to make up my mind. You guys just sent me something. So I started Googling some hair subscription boxes and of course, Curlbox popped up. So when I did my research on the Curlbox page, it seemed pretty legit, no red flags, nothing shady. And then of course, I looked at reviews of Curlbox and just kind of got a feel for what I was getting myself into. Some of the things that I looked up were their cancellation policies, the kind of products they send, and of course the pricing, and we'll get into all of that as the video continues. I read the reviews, some people liked it, some people didn't, but if they didn't like it, they didn't like the product, not the company, the Curlbox company itself. So I thought I'd give it a try, just, you know, see what's out there, try something new. I went to buy the Curlbox subscription in December of 2019, and it wasn't freaking there. It was there, but it was sold out and you couldn't buy a subscription. So I was kind of intrigued. I'm like, well, which company doesn't want my money? Are y'all Finny Beauty? Like, y'all are selling out of everything I want. They have this thing where you can put in your email address and then they will send you when it comes available. January came around, maybe, I want to say the 9th, I'm not sure. But I got a text message and an email saying... We're opening up our subscription list at 9 a.m. If you want it, sign up for it, the date, the time, the website, whatever. All the information that you needed was there. So I said, okay, I'm gonna get my subscription box. I set my alarm for whatever the time was to open up and I end up getting on the website about 10 minutes late, but I was still able to buy a subscription. However, I went back, I wanna say about 10.05 to buy my younger sister a subscription that was shipped directly to her house and they were already sold out. So I'm not sure how many subscriptions they give out a month, but I know the February subscription is sold out within an hour because I literally went back to buy another subscription and it was sold out, you couldn't get it anymore. That's very interesting to me. I'm not sure how that works. I would love to learn more because you would think as much product as they have, they will want to, they will want to get it out to everybody. But then it's also pretty cool because it's like an exclusive group and you either make the cut or you don't. I, it's, I found it very interesting. So I'll get into some of the policies, like the cancellation policy. It seems to be very easy. I don't, from what I read, you can email them, tell them that you don't want the subscription anymore and they will cancel it for you. Now, I'm not sure how easy that is in real life because I haven't tried to cancel my subscription yet. But if I ever do and it's a pain, I will get back on here and let you guys know. The box itself is $20 a month and then the shipping is five dollars so it ends up being about 25 dollars a month to me that's not very expensive especially compared to what you're getting i think it's nice that curlbox also sends full size products when i was dealing with ipsy they do not send full size they send like tester samples curlbox sends full size products it's, for 25 dollars i'm telling you guys you cannot beat this it was that's a good deal in itself, even if you just buy one box. 
I signed up for the subscription on the day they told me to. It came out of my account that day, but I paid for it in January and I got the February box, if that makes sense. Right after receiving the February box, I got charged for the March box, which will come out next month because right now it is February 2019. It's the end of February, but February nonetheless. They ship the box on February the 12th. They say give it 7 to 12 business days. I received mine in about maybe 6 business days. I wasn't really keeping up with it because I was looking for some other stuff in the mail. But the shipping came in February like it was supposed to. So I got my product, no complaint there. Now to get into the actual box and the product itself. So I myself did not actually use these products. As you can see my hair is straight right now. And I actually ended up getting the box four days after I straightened my hair and I'm telling you guys it took every bit of strength in me like self-control not to just wash my hair just to try these products but my husband volunteered to let me experiment and try the products on his hair he loves getting his hair done by me anyway so it was a win-win for both of us so I have used four of the five products in the box not on myself but on my husband and the only reason I did not use the fifth product is because it is a one-time use um, protein treatment and I, I wanted to use it myself on my hair. So I just said whenever I go back curly that I will use that protein treatment for myself. And it sounds selfish, don't it? But it's not. I just, it's only one-time use. I wanted to use it. I wanted to see what it did for my hair. I don't feel bad. So what was in the box is the Cream of Nature New Aloe and Black Castor Oil line. One, I have never used a Cream of Nature product ever, like any of their um, lines, so that was new to me. I do use aloe vera juice, but I had never used black castor oil, so them together, I was intrigued. I wanted to see what it was like. So I just break down product by product. When you get the curl box in the mail, this is what it comes in. It comes in a regular brown box and then it has a, another box in it. This is a regular standard shipping box. The box that is in it is a little bit more flimsy and I'll show you guys that. So this is how the box would look just with itself. It's pretty thin. It's made out of paper it's just i don't know nothing's wrong with the box itself it just kind of looks flimsy to me like a um like maybe a cake box or something so when you open it up this is the first thing you see and this is their february edition and it has just more information about the products on it then it has a curl box and then where you can reach them on instagram and all that great stuff then it's this black tissue paper, which I guess not a big deal, whatever. And then when you open it up, this is what the box looks like. So five full-size product, like I said, this is the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil. It comes with a hair mask, a shampoo, an anti-breaking leave-in, a recharge syndrome. Syndrome? And a protein pack. The shampoo surprised me because it was like, it was honey. It was like honey. It looked, it felt like honey. It was sticky like honey. And I had never seen a shampoo. And it looks like honey. Like, I don't know if you can see. It looks like honey, but it smells pretty good. I used it on my husband's hair. It was interesting to say the least. I'm excited to use it on my hair whenever I do shampoo again next product was the hair mask of that same line the cream of nature aloe and black castor oil the hair mask i don't want to be gross but when you put it in your hand in the bottle it looks like mud but when you put it in your hand it looks like poop it could have been more appealing it the hair mask did really really well on my husband's hair so I'm excited to try it we left it in for 30 minutes I'm not gonna lie the bottle says use for three minutes and rinse out I always leave my deep conditioner hair mask in for at least 30 minutes well for 30 minutes on the dot I try 30 minutes he didn't sit under the dryer he just put on the shower cap 
because we were watching Blue Bloods and I didn't want to hear the um, dryer going on and he was trying to hear the TV show so we just skipped sitting under the dryer. The fourth product is the Reconstructing Anti-Breakage Leave-In. This is actually a clear bottle. I thought, because it's a spray-in, right, and this is not a liquid, because it's not, it's a cream, but it's a cream they made spray. I'm very interested in how they made this particular formula because it's not a cream. I mean, it's not watery. It's a cream, but it does come out the spray bottle very nicely. So I like the leave-in conditioner, like I said, not on my hair. I have not tried any of these products, but as someone putting it into someone else's hair, I really, really liked it. Made me excited to try it. Fourth product is the Root Recharge Serum. So what you're supposed to do after you wash and deep condition is drop this serum on your, on your scalp. And it comes with a little Doppler that I thought was pretty cool. Like this. I definitely am very satisfied with my purchase and what I got. I'm excited to get next month, March 2020. I'm excited to get my new subscription box. The only downside I can see is that because they do send full size products, eventually my products will probably start to pile up and then I'll cancel my subscription. That's the only negative I see, but as of right now, that is not the case. Of course, I only have one box. And I am, I do give a lot of my um, hair products and makeup products away, like to my siblings or friends. So I know the serum, I'll probably end up giving to my little sister, just because I don't see myself being a serum person. And that's also how I keep my stockpile limited, is by giving away the products that I don't use often or I'm just not over the moon with. So going back, I'm very happy with my subscription as of now, my first Curlbox subscription. I'm also ecstatic about the new products I have to try. Like I said, I've never used Cream of Nature or Black Castor Oil, so I was, I'm excited and I got what I wanted out of it. I got full size products and I got something new that works that I don't have to go out there and buy. So if you're interested in Curlbox, I would say give it a try. I thoroughly enjoyed my first box. I think it is a great company. We will see. If anything changes, I will definitely let you guys know. Around April or May, you can be looking for my final review of Curlbox. I normally like to give something three months to kind of get a feel for it. So I come back in April or May and hit you with my final thoughts on the Curlbox. So if you have any questions about Curlbox or the products I mentioned, drop them down below. Always don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.